friends and family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee Lewis, and I like to share with you the postcards that I've received from postcrossing.com. The official cards, the cards that come from direct swaps, and also cards from round robins that I participate in. But before I start that, I just want to show you what the temperature is today where I live. Right now, 99 degrees feels like 111 outside. We don't go outside when it's this hot. <laughs> we just don't. Anyway, I just thought you would enjoy seeing that. I have a lot of cards. I was away at a teaching conference and I've got a lot of cards. So let's get started right away. So, all right. The first two cards come from a place that I had never heard of before. And these, this comes from the Allen Islands. So this is one of the cards. This, of course, is a meetup card. And I had never heard of these islands before. I had to look it up. And uh, it is slightly to the southwest of Finland, um, but right off the coast. And so this is the first meetup card. And I want to show you the back. It's all the people that attended this meetup. And the beautiful stamp up here. But also look at the number right here, 13283, small number. So this is the first card that I received. The next day, <laughs> I received another from the same meetup. Look at this card. So this is the coastline for the Elland Islands. Again, we're looking at all of the wonderful signatures here. But look at this number, 13267. So this is an even smaller number because this one was 13283 for this meetup. So how exciting that my name was drawn twice for this within a relatively short period of time. Like I'm so excited by that. So yes, yeah, so Allen Islands. Very cool. Thank you so much for these cards. All right, the next card comes from Japan, and this is a handmade card. I love handmade cards, and so this is all the stamps. This comes from, oh, she didn't give her name, um, and so, but this, I'm pretty sure by the writing, it's a female, um, but so she made this card, and I just love it, so thank you so much. The next card comes from Narita in um, Indonesia. And this is a card of the national dance, and it is the hand dance. And so I looked up a video on YouTube to watch it, and it is absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much for this card. I really appreciate that. The next two cards come from Germany. And so my theme for July, I think it was, was honor. And so this card comes from uh, Volker. And he celebrates, he honors his country. And so this is a scene from his country. I love that. And I love that he honors his country. Thank you so much. The next card comes from Bettina. And this is a beautiful, beautiful card of a shoreline, a woman in her traditional dress standing along the shoreline. Very, very cool. Thank you so much for that card. The last two official cards come from Russia. And the first card here is um, from Anya. She is 26 years old and a teacher at school. And I love this card with the beautiful um, lavender fields and the balloon in the distance. And when I wrote my uh, hooray message to her, I asked her if she'd ever been up in a hot air balloon. I love uh, I've been up in one three times now, and I love it. So thank you so much, Anya. And then the last card comes from Irina, and this one is really special as well. This is an elephant. This elephant was painted by her son, and then what they did was they scanned in this picture and sent it, uh, had it made into postcards to send out. And oh my gosh, I love this. I absolutely love this. I think this is probably one of my most favorite postcards I've ever received. Um, so there's a, there's a couple of connections here for me. The first one is that the sender is named Irina. 
My grandmother's name was Irene. The second thing is that it's an elephant, and my grandmother loved elephants, and I inherited much of her elephant collection. And then I got to play with a baby elephant when I was in Thailand. So elephants hold a very dear place in my heart. So thank you so much for this card, Arena. I absolutely love this card. And your son did such a fabulous job. Thank you so much. Oh, also, she put on really cool stamps on the back too. So, look at that. All right. So from there, what I want to do is I want to share direct swaps that I received. I received four direct swaps, and then I'll go into the round robins. So the first direct swap is absolutely adorable. This comes from Lewis, and Lewis lives in Abu Dhabi, and we swap cards all the time. And Lewis said that he hoped that I liked this rabbit card. He said he likes rabbits too. He likes to cook them with tomato sauce. Hmm. Rabbits are too cute. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Lewis. I love this card, and I'm not cooking rabbits. <laughs> I have bunnies that eat my garden. <laughs> that's my that's my contribution. <laughs> the next card comes from Bex, and Bex um, met me on Instagram, and she's a friend of Jilly B. If you know Jilly B, and hold on just a second, I'll talk about Jilly B in a second. But she sent me this beautiful card of a dog and talked about how she had lost her her dog Millie um I think it was Millie Millie yes uh she didn't write it on here but she wrote it in her Instagram and um so she just really sympathized with me and I totally understand and she decorates just like Julie she decorates cards beautifully on the back she even included three-dimensional um uh, what do you call rhinestones down there at the bottom everything so Bex thank you so much for your card I love it the next two cards come from Jilly B and her channel is Jilly B living her life her way and the first card is absolutely hilarious okay so this is an astronaut who's on the moon who's grilling chicken and there's a cat <laughs> We're like trying to figure this card out. It is just so funny and unusual. Like you couldn't do grilling on the moon. Like I just thought of this because there's no oxygen up there and oxygen needs fire. I don't know. No, fire needs oxygen. <laughs> so anyway, this card is absolutely hilarious. See, that's the scientist to me. Sometimes it ruins things. But anyway, I love this card, Jilly, because it is just so unusual. And I want to know, the, why isn't the cat wearing a mask? I just, this is the things I think of. <laughs> so, and then the last card I, was also from Jilly. And Jilly showed these. These are the new um, stamps that came out and the postcards that go with it. With Love Always Wins. And she showed these on her channel. And I said that I absolutely loved this postcard. I'm an ally here at my university and everything. My uh, office is... is um, a, what's known as a safe zone. I've been certified as a safe zone and everything um, because people are horrible and I am a safe zone. You can always come to me and I will always be your ally no matter what it is. There have been many times that I have let people use my office where they just need a safe space. You know, take out my computer and the work that I'm doing and give them the office for as long as they need it. So Anyway, so love always wins. I love that so much. And Jilly is just so fabulous at decorating her cards. The entire thing is rainbow. There's a rainbow hidden down here, and then her love sticker, and the rainbow washi tape. I mean, Jilly is just so, so good at decorating her cards. So thank you, Jilly. I am going to treasure this, and I am actually going to put this in my office as a reminder to myself that you know, we continue to be allies um, for those who need us. So thank you so much. Then the last of the postcards that I have, and it's quite a few, are round robins. So I'll go through these fairly quickly. The first card comes from Whitney, and she sends me this beautiful card from Florida showing sea turtles. And she said that one day she wants to see the sea turtles hatching and the little babies going out into the ocean. And I am with you. I want to see the same thing. So thank you, Whitney. 
The next card comes from James, and this is an unusual card. It reminds me of Dia de los Muertos, um, but, you know, the uh, skeletons and all of that. So really, really cool. He said he was on his way to a um, picnic for the 4th of July. So I hope you had a great time, James. The next card comes from Charlotte, and this is from the Wild Animals of the World, and this, of course, is a seal, and I know I love seals. Do you know how to tell the difference between a seal and a sea lion? So a seal has no ears. It's just a hole on the side of their head. Sea lions have little tiny ears that stick out. And so that's a, a very easy way to see if you are if it is a seal or a sea lion. Thank you so much for that card. The next card comes from Roxy, and she sends a blue-footed booby card to add to my collection. So I love blue-footed boobies. I'd wanted to see blue-footed boobies for years and years and years, and I went to the Galapagos, and I cried a little bit the very first time I saw a blue-footed booby because it was just one of those, oh my gosh, I have finally, finally seen it. And yes, their feet really are that blue. It is so awesome. This is a great card for my collection. And she said that she had her niece had gone to the Galapagos and had brought her back a whole bunch of cards. So thank you so much for this card, Roxy. The next card comes from Sarah. I love recipe cards. So she has sent me a recipe for New England clam chowder. I will be trying that this fall. The next card comes from Beauty. And this is a wonderful uh, tea samovar, and um, enjoying tea here. And she was telling me she's working on her dissertation for her PhD, and so she was telling me all about her research. And she she says my dissertation focuses on sexual violence in 16th century England. Um, honor is a very important component. So this was all related to my. Um, my uh, theme for July of Honor. So thank you for that card. I won't read more about your research to everybody else, but it is fascinating research. The next card comes from Terry, and she is on vacation, but she sent me a recipe card for the Ernest T. Bass Rock Bars, and I'm a geologist. I study rocks, so you know I'm going to be making those rock bars. <laughs> the next card comes from Mel, and I love Princess Diana. And I've talked about her many times here on this channel. So this is the going away scene for her honeymoon. This lovely peach dress and there is Prince Charles uh, behind her. So yeah, I love that. Thank you so much for that card. The next card comes from Rocky and he sends me another card. Take a look. Is it a seal or a sea lion? If you said it's a seal, you are correct. There's no ears. <laughs> uh, the next card comes from Sharon, and this is a horse running on the beach. And she said one of these days she would love to see the wild horses. And I told her that there is an island in North Carolina where you can go see the wild horses. You don't see them all the time but uh, you can go there and they have them. So this is a beautiful card, and I hope someday she does see the wild horses. We saw someone I was out on my vacation in uh, Wyoming. The next card comes from Deb. And how could you not love all of these wonderful smiley faces on there? I love also that they're all different shapes and everything besides colors and, and all of that. But like I'm particular to this little blue one down here in the corner. It was all stretched out. <laughs> Thank you for that card. Marcella sends the next card. It's another recipe card. This is for Florida Orange Meringue Pie. I did try another orange meringue pie, but it used the concentrate and it was awful. And so I'm excited to try this at some point. So thank you for that. I'm saving up all of the recipe cards and trying them. I did try one this week that was brownies. They came out really good. The next card comes from Leslie and she's wishing me a happy summer. I think this is such an interesting scene with the big waves, you know, these buildings that are in peril. Look at this one up here on top of the wave, you know, the seashells, all of that. It reminds me of a tsunami. <laughs> so thank you for that card. The next card comes from Jennifer 
and she said that she had um, saw that I mentioned that I was had been in the Navy. I'm a Navy veteran. And so she sent me this card um, from Annapolis. This is where the United States Naval Academy is located. And I've been there. So thank you so much. I did not attend Naval Academy. Um, I went there for a visit. <laughs> The next card comes from Meredith, who also sent me a lovely beach scene. This one comes from Virginia Beach. I want to go to the beach now. <laughs> the next card, let me pull these out here. I have one in an envelope. I want to do that. The next one comes from Mary, El Mary Ellen, and this is also a recipe card for Mary Todd Lincoln's White Cake. The recipe looks fairly easy. And Mary Ellen said on the back she would probably say about 350 degrees, um, you know, because it does say to preheat oven to 350 degrees. But she said, I don't know if Mary Todd Lincoln would have had an oven with temperatures. So anyway, but I'm going to try that. <laughs> the next card comes from Susan. And Susan sent me two bottlenose dolphin jumping out of the water from Tybee Island, which I think is in Georgia. Yes. Tybee Island, Georgia. I've never been there, but I love a good beach. <laughs> the next card comes from Delia, and this is a an artist uh, card of different mammals. So there's a lot of different mammals drawn on this card. Very interesting. Lemurs and chimpanzees and some of them, like um, this one over here, I'm not really certain that's anatomically correct. But anyway, and bats. I love bats. So thank you so much for that card. The next card is a really big card, and this one comes from Karen. This So compared to the size of an average card. <laughs> um, this, of course, is a mammoth, and she said, wouldn't it be neat if mammoths came back? Ooh, yeah, like, uh, you know, for what I do for my job as a paleontologist, yeah, I would love the mammoths to come back, but there's a reason that they went away, even if it was human-induced, because we hunted them to extinction. Um, but we have found mammoths, just, you know, a bit of science here. So we have found mammoths that have been frozen in um, the tundra, okay, and that ice because of global warming, is melting. And so these carcasses are coming out to the surface. And what you can do is you can extract some of that DNA and you can recreate a mammoth. But, you know, there's a lot of ethical issues associated with that. Should we do that? If we were able to get the DNA from T-Rex, should we bring T-Rex back? And if you say yes to those, would you say yes to deadly viruses because if we can take the DNA from those, should we bring it back? You know, if we've gotten rid of it. So these are the kinds of ethical questions that are being asked in biology today. So as much as I would love to have a big sauropod, one of those big long neck dinosaurs, I would have to pass because I think there's ethical issues associated with it. But I love the cards. Anyway, that's just a little bit of science for you. Thank you so much for this card, Karen. I really appreciate it. And then the last cards come from Laura. And Laura sent me two. The first card is a card of Mount Holyoke. Um, Holyoke, and this is a university, and I love universities. Um, this is an all-girls university. So that's the first card she sent me. And then she said, she said, um, Hello, Renee. The other day I discovered your YouTube channel. So hello, welcome. <laughs> and I told her, you watch the video. You will see um, your cards up on here. And so um, she is, uh, she said, I can tell that you're a teacher by your style. It's in the genes. It's in the genes. So anyway, I love this card. And then she also sent me another card. So here's beautiful California. And then on this card, there is a recipe for orzo with mint tomatoes. And so this is going into my pile. You know I'm going to make it. And in fact, um, she wrote, just for fun for your recipes to make down here at the bottom. So see, just for fun for your recipes to make. So I will be making that. 
I will be making that. So that's all the cards that I received. In about the week and a half that I was gone, I got back. Um, all my cards were delivered. All my mail was delivered yesterday. So I've got them all registered and everything. And finally able to sit down and make this video. So thanks for sticking along. I know this is a really long video. I am at 20 minutes. I really appreciate you coming by. And please stay safe and healthy. If you've not been vaccinated, please get vaccinated. I'm going tomorrow to get my fourth vaccine um, for COVID because nobody wants to get that. And I will see you again next time. Bye for now.